Welcome back everybody. Well, I'm sure you can see what time it is again. It is battle box time again and uh, wasn't expecting it. I knew it was getting to be about that time, but usually they uh, send them, you know, emails saying it's on its way or whatever. I guess maybe they did and I didn't see it, but at any rate, here we go. We'll go ahead and use the uh, Benchmade Triage today. And this one happens to be a first production, 146 of 1000. Uh, has an N690 blade and it uh, is the 916, like I said, or the Triage. Which what's interesting about this is it has an opposing bevel blade, which is a little different if you've never, never seen one before. So that's pretty cool. And of course your typical Benchmade Axis lock. But it also has a built-in strap cutter there, which is nice. And also a glass breaker here. So pretty neat little knife, of course belt clip. But it's not about this knife, it's about this box. So let's go ahead and get into this box. Now one thing about this box is I have absolutely no idea what is in this box because like I said I didn't didn't know it was coming so I'm, you know I didn't even see any uh, sneak peeks or anything like that so let's open this thing up and of course you can see it is a smaller box so makes me wonder what we've got in it so let's see we'll open that up Move this so you can see what all we've got here. So there, Battle Box Mission 72. So we'll just kind of randomly pull items out. Um, seems to be a little bit smaller of a box, but that's all right. We'll pull some things out of here and see what all we have. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so first off, looks like we have a camping and backpacking knots book. And those are going to be kind of like um, those other books you see that are like the white and they have knots. Actually, I've got one. I just don't have it right here handy. But at any rate, it's the same kind of deal. Um, looks like we can just open it up for you guys to see. That little carabiner, I'm sure, is intended to go in that. So anyway, hold that up there. Hopefully that's in focus and everything. But if not, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. They're kind of those plastic, almost like credit cards, but shows all the different knots on it and stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's a handy item. So that's good. We like that. Let's see what else do we have here. Okay. Looks like we've got some oral rehydration salts from Adventure Medical Kits. So, I mean, you know, these obviously you would use if you're dehydrated. You know, these will get the electro electrolytes, if I can get it out, uh, back into you, you know, quickly as possible besides, uh, you know, doing it how they do at the hospital. You know, this is obviously out in the field, so... Anyway, looks like there's uh, at least two of them in there. Three of them, I think. Yeah, it looks like there's three of them in there. So, cool. I like that. That's, that's always a good item to have in there. And also, which you saw when I opened it, a medical kit. And this one is the Mountain Series. Looks like Explorer. Four people, seven days. Okay, well, I've never seen one of these. Now, I have seen other adventure medical kits, and uh, they usually make a pretty decent kit. I mean, you know, when you're talking about these kits, especially 
as far as buying them off the shelf. I mean, they're never going to have every single thing in it you want or you need. You know, it's they're just a base. You buy that, you know, and that gives you a good base to start with, and then you just cram it completely full of everything that you want and need so the zipper won't even zip. I mean, that's kind of the way it goes. Not really the way it should, I don't think, but that is the way it goes. So, man, this thing has a ton of stuff in it, and I don't know if I want to list it all off or just kind of hold it up where you guys can see a little better and then you can pause your screen right there to check that out if you want to but I'll just kinda go over it real quick I mean obviously uh, has your regular band-aids in it of course you know some gauze some elastic tape moleskin and I like I said I'm not gonna read every single thing off but so, three single-use thermometers. That's interesting. You don't usually see those in uh, kits, so that's good. Some EMT shears, some duct tape, safety pins, pencil. And then, uh, for the medication portion, looks like some afterbite wipes, some aspirin, antihistamine, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. Bandages, antiseptic wipes, triple antibiotic ointment and for stop bleeding fast it has one trauma pad five by nine two nitrile gloves and one triangle bandage so that's your uh fast bleeding stop i guess so cool kit though i'm sure let's uh oh we gotta cut her open here let me get something to do that with. Okay. We got that. Alright. I hate these tags and stuff. Alright, so let's see. Kind of opens up like so. And then of course has your little uh, pouches here with goodies in it and you know you got uh, well that's pretty roomy there's a lot of room for expansion in this even though it's a pretty good size deal but you can still put more stuff in here and it's also cool that it's labeled I like that because you know if you build the kit you're you're familiar with it you know well if you can remember you should know where things are and what's what but somebody else if they were to pick this kit up they wouldn't necessarily know that so that's really cool i like that i don't think i necessarily need to pull everything out and show everything i mean i'm sure you guys know what uh medication and band-aids and all that jazz looks like if not i'm sure there's uh plenty of places you can find that but it does have a plastic bottom on it so I mean it seems to be fairly durable you know probably a pretty decent kit you know add you some uh sea locks to this maybe and you know a decent tourniquet and maybe a little more uh kind of packing and uh gauze type material in just so it's got more of it and it probably wouldn't be half bad I like it so so far I like all three of these items now that leaves us with one item so we will get into that Okay, looks like a Revolt Knives Raptor Survival, it says, designed by Russ Comer, I guess. Interesting, all right, well, always have to have a knife to open a knife, couldn't be any other way. 
luckily no shortage of knives around here so I think we can get it took care of here well maybe not I'll just cut the whole top off I don't care there get into this thing maybe all right now this revolt knives of course you know they've uh, put several different of these in battle boxes but I've never received that level of box so this would in fact be my first revolt knife so I mean I know they uh, made in China and such so I mean I don't have super high expectations of course it, you know a lot of things are made in China nowadays so get rid of all that all right get down to that so okay that's just gonna be like a little uh little neck knife but it does come with a little uh ferro rod or fire steel whatever you want to call it on the little lanyard here which is designed for these to come out so you can open your loops up you know to use this as a neck knife does have a little uh safety latch there which you don't need oh wow <laughs> all right so that's interesting i i mean i could see it was small but i just expected a little bit bigger blade than that but you know i guess if you were you know, trying to do some uh, precision work, this would uh, probably not be a terrible knife, I guess. You know, you got about a three and a half finger hold there. Your uh, pinky kind of comes across that back there, but, you know, scales aren't super thick. So, I mean, it's going to ride real easy under the shirt there. You know, the uh, total weight isn't a whole lot. So, I mean, you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't probably notice it, but at least with making the blade that small, they put somewhat of a handle on there. Like, you know, if they would have cut it off like that to where you just had only the three on it, I mean, I wouldn't have liked it as much, so... At least with that little bit longer of a handle, that makes it, you know, a lot more usable. So, I like that. Uh, well, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and go straight to the, uh, straight to the book here and see what the uh, prices are and all that. Okay, so the Revolt Knives there would actually be in the basic box. Get that up here. So, let's see. Does it say... Doesn't really say what kind of uh, steel it is or anything. But, I'm sure it's uh, nothing extravagant. And then, of course, the uh, salts there were part of the basic also. And the uh, knot guide. And the advanced is the Adventure Medical Kits bag there for $39. And if you would have got the Pro Box, you would have got a... Cali Loa, I don't know, ultralight camp chair. Kind of glad I didn't get that, really. I don't need that. I mean, not that I would never use it, because chairs can be helpful, but I don't know. Not, uh, not too upset I didn't get it. And then uh, Pro Plus, I don't know, I may not have that in focus or in frame there. We'll go back over it, but. So, the Pro Plus would have been a Palawan blade, 
I don't know. But it's 5CR stainless steel with a hollow grind. Wow. Yeah, glad I didn't end up getting that. I mean, it, it might be okay, you know, it might be better than I think it is, but uh, I don't have a high expectation for it, you know, really, not, not me personally, but... So, yeah, that, uh, that's it. That's the Battle Box Mission 72. So, I don't know what you guys think. I think it probably, you know, could have been a lot better. It's, uh... Not necessarily a great box. Oh, I did finally, looking at the little booklet here that came with the knife. So it does say on here that it's a 3CR stainless steel with flat grind, 2 and an eighth inch long blade, overall a 5 and a half. It does say a 90 degree spine, so I guess we'll see. And apparently, yeah, I see it now. This is that uh, fire cord that's got your tender in the in the cord. Which, I mean, if you're going to put a ferro rod on it and have the knife capable of striking it, why would you not put that on there? But wouldn't surprise me if they didn't. But I guess they did. 90 degree spine, huh? I don't know. I've seen spines more 90 than that, but no, I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll play with it here. One day, maybe we'll uh, put it in with that uh, Condor Bushcraft Bliss when we uh, put it on some wood. Maybe we'll just mess around with that little knife there, too. We'll see. Well, Thanks for coming by and checking out uh, Mission 72 for Battle Box. And hope you all are doing great out there. And we'll see you in the next one.